Hi you guys, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. I just wanted to drop in real quick to let you know I will be resuming some art videos very soon. I've been working on pastels lately. I'm waiting on a new pastel pochade box, which I've been wanting to buy for 10 years. I finally bought it and I'm waiting on it to come. I had been, I'd been using this one. Hang on a second here, let me close this book. Um, this, this box and I hate it. My pastels were getting ruined in it. I had to buy special pads to put on top of them, and it just was not working out very well. I even I forgot the name of this box. It is the oh Sienna. I do not recommend it. <laughs> but anyway, this is where I store my other pastels, and it's really not enough space. I need to get one with more with narrower slots, but more of them so that I can get my all of my pastels put away because I have a lot of them in other boxes. And then, of course, I have, if any of you have followed me before, let me hang up my camera here. If you followed me before, you know about the great find that I had uh, years ago. I have an old video. I'll try to remember to link it at the end. It was one of my first videos I ever did. Um, I had gone to an estate sale and got this. My husband actually found it. It's dirty right now. My husband actually found this box of full Rembrandt pastels, soft pastels. They are a harder version of soft pastel, so I usually use them in my first layers when I use them. I have a lot of them in here, but this is the full set. They're normally about $1,100 for this set. You won't believe what I picked it up for. I believe I picked this full set up for $275 unused. Completely unused. So that's the first tier. This is the second tier. And then this is the third tier. I think there's only three. Maybe there's four. Nope, there's three. So this is all three tiers right here. That's all of the pastels. And that costs about $1,100. So I got them all for about $275, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. So I got very fortunate. My husband had been watching estate sales. I'm not even sure why. He was watching estate sales, but he was, and um, I've got these in backwards, but it doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, he found them, and he's like, Sharon, you may want to go over there. I stood in line in the rain, waited for my number to come up, hoping that nobody were artists, and I didn't tell anybody about these, and I immediately went in. I could not find them. I looked around for a minute, and then I asked the guy running, one of the guys running the estate sale um, where I could find them. They were under a table, hidden, and I said, okay, I want these, and I grabbed them, got right in line, and I was in, I was out. There was an art studio room, but it was locked, and we could not go in and get any other art supplies, but anyway, that was my great find. But then today, <coughs> I wanted to tell you, if you're in an area that has that has um, a helping hands or thrift store or something like that, you should go check it out. If you're in need of porcelain palettes for your watercolor or whatever, go to a thrift store and buy yourself a porcelain plate. I went into the thrift, thrift store today and found so many white porcelain plates. I have no need for any more porcelain plates. I have so many porcelain palettes. I'm like a collector of porcelain palettes, so I did not buy them. But let me show you what I did buy. I found all of these frames. I got these three frames that were still brand new, I believe. Um, I don't know. Maybe they weren't. Maybe those were prints somebody put in. Then I got these. These are all for 8x10s or 5x7s with 8x10s. That was a dollar. This one, 
That one was $3. This one's got a couple scratches on it, but then this one I thought I could use for four by six paintings. There were two of them that matched, so I got those. Then I got this one for an 11 by 14 painting. It has one little bitty scratch there, and I picked it up for $4. That was the only thing that I could find on it, and that one was really nice. And then five paint, five frames still in their, in their plastic wrap, 12 by 12 frames for $2.50 a piece, and I got five of them. So I recommend that you go check out your local thrift stores because you might find something that you really, really like. There was, there were even arts, I'm sorry, I'm so out of breath. Ever since I had my COVID thing, I, I just have not been able to catch my breath since. I feel great though, you guys. Um, it's just the breathing thing that is an issue. I need to sit down. But um, I just wanted to get online real quick and do a quick video and to just say hello and show you my pastel box. I'm going to be doing some pastel paintings for you soon, but I need to get my pastel legs back. I've been posting a few photos on Instagram and I am nowhere near ready um, to be painting for you guys. Here's one that I painted this. Uh, it was just a fall scene that I did and I had posted one yesterday on Instagram that was so bad that I washed my paper. First I scrubbed it with a brush, a stenciling brush. I just went outside and rubbed all the pastel off. Then I took it underwater and scrubbed it some more. And you can just faintly see the darker pastel that was in the background. And then I can reuse it. I did accidentally um, get scrub off one little spot of the paper, but that won't matter. Um, but it's still sanded, so I'm going to reuse this paper. And uh, it's a good practice sheet. You know what I mean? So... Anyhow, that's what I've been working on lately, which is why I don't have a video for you. I am going to edit my jewelry box videos, the ones that I did for the bridesmaids and mother of the bride, um, those boxes. I will post pictures of them on Instagram, uh, over at Sharon Cullen Art on Instagram, and I will post the video for that probably in the next 24 to 48 hours. So um, stay tuned for that. But everybody have a great day. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. If you want to see pastel videos, please let me know down below if you're interested in just watching some pastel videos just to see how they work and what, you know, find out how you use pastels. Um, and a little bit about the papers and that kind of thing, then let me know down below so, so I know whether or not you're even interested in that. Take care, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.